Okay, Aries, happy full moon eclipse in Taurus. Uh, this is a little bit of a choose your own adventure for you. So you can choose to be baby, you can choose to be daddy because you are baby and daddy rolled into one, but this is kind of a BDE or LDE type moment, which stands for a big dick energy or a little dick energy. So you get to decide, Aries, you get to decide. Happy full moon eclipse. My name is Sarah, if we've not met. This grid behind me, we're going off of the Aries rising grid, but my readings can always be watched by an Aries sun as well as an Aries moon to kind of get the vibration of it. But so right now we have the sun over here in Scorpio in our eighth house of deep transformation, death, rebirth. This is, you know, the lions and tigers and bears portion of the chart. Scorpio season for a lot of people is like spooky, sexy. Definitely please go watch the introductory video for this full moon eclipse. I highly implore you because you get the general wheel, just please Aries rise and go watch that. Um, I'm not gonna repeat myself so much there. But so with the sun over here in opposition of the moon in our house of money. So this is the money, please access. This is the, over here, the second house is when we're moving what we put into the box, what's our own. And over here, this is like where we're moving the shared things, the, the contracts, the wills, you know, all those fun things over here. So like I said in the introductory video, full moons is when the sun is in opposition of the moon. Perfectly exact. We also have Mars over here with a little halfy player, Mercury, in opposition to Jupiter over here. So with the Jupiter transit, we've been looking at, you know, Jupiter and Taurus. We've been looking at values. We've been reassessing them, all different things. Definitely, if you've not done the exercise that I've been giving for you, like what are your top five values? What are they? What are they? Also, there's definitely as far as the choose your own adventure going for the north node in your sign to the south node in your house of relationships, like, I'll, I'll just let you know. The easy street, the codependent side of things, it's as effortless as breathing. It's right across the street. There's probably a situationship, someone in your life that's like eight out of 10, nine out of 10 that you're like, I could very easily do this. It was 222 when I said that. I could very easily, you know, smash myself down. But when it comes to leadership, you know, and I heard something about this the other day, like if the people around you, and this is like nervous system type, like energy stuff, energetic stuff. So like when you take up a big amount of space, but you're around people that cannot handle that amount of you, you will naturally, unconsciously, subconsciously, pack yourself in to the puzzle piece space that they can handle just naturally just naturally so if you are the hardest working person in the room you're in the wrong room if you feel as though every time you're around certain people you're not spitting truth you're not spitting facts you're not doing the things or they're not listening to you why do you continuously walk in that room oh i understand because we have chiron over here in your first house and we have the north node in here in the first house so you might be alone at the table right now, Aries. Money's slow. You had set all these intentions. When the North Node went into Aries, you're like, I'm gonna get all my abundances, I'm gonna get all my things. But eclipse season is humbling you and making you look at things in a way that you have to act as if, very foundational manifestation rules. Yes, this is about purpose. Oh my God, Saturn is it zero degrees yes this is about purpose yes you know your trajectory but i need you to have like not just like blind faith but i need you to be so irrationally focused on your goals whatever it is that you're creating right now aries that if anyone is around you that you can't talk about it with your precious little babies the gestation that you're creating and these could be ideas, Aries. I mean, I use the parable of birthing something because as the awakened ones at this point in time in the ascension, in the process, we literally are creating a completely new paradigm, something that has never been done before. We're using the laws of this universe, yes, but what we're birthing has never been created before. So I need you to, just like a mother, when they just find out that they're pregnant, they wait a little while, right, to tell people, just to make sure. It was 444 when I said that. So many angel numbers happening for us, Aries, over here. So be very, very aware of who you share your ideas with. Be very aware of even, like, why do I have these ideas? 
Because if it's just about paper, it's you'll be very wealthy but alone and maybe infamous instead of famous. Like there's so many, like I said, this is a choose your own adventure. <sighs> Making notes. Yeah, you get to decide. And neither of them, especially within eclipse season, are going to be wrong. And, you know, as human beings, we all get free will. We all get free will. And I've gone back to look at certain eclipse patterns that I myself have gone down. And as we know, with my Waking Up Post Woke series, like as a mystic, I've gone down majority of the rabbit holes just to be like, maybe don't go down that road. Maybe don't go down that road. So that's just, that's just me. But I recognized that, you know, some of the, the eclipses that were like in similar house systems for me, like the 18, 19 year cycle, I chose the wrong side of the street. I chose what I knew was not the exact highest and greatest timeline for myself. And I look back and I forgive myself. You know, I was making decisions out of financial fear. You know, it, like at that point in time, I had never even thought that there was a paradigm that someone could live by themselves and be able to sustain that effortlessly. Like I never even thought that that was a paradigm or that I was partaking in a paradigm. So I don't judge myself. I just look at it and recognize like, yes, you can choose. You can choose. <sighs> I've got dancing people upstairs, which I'm so excited about. You can choose to share possessions with the wrong people. You can choose. And there's no judgment in that. Some of the most powerful decisions I ever made in this world are when I was completely unconscious. So never fear the decisions that you make out of fear. They are just bringing you to that level of the video game of life that you are ready for. So you do get to choose your own adventure right now, Aries. We are going to have our new moon coming up in like a little bit. Honest to goodness, like this eclipse season was kind of just like the view that I get is like a where it's like kind of like um it's it's like the wading pool, all the mach got like gucked up, or you took your snow globe and you shook it the fuck up in, in this season. And now we're just waiting for the dust to settle. So the dust will settle and you know we'll have Saturn going direct on the 4th of November. We'll have a few different transit changes, and then it'll be on the 13th of November that we're going to have the new moon coming up in Scorpio. So that's going to be really exciting. That's going to be at 20 degrees. So like really be aware of the decisions that you're making right now, Aries, and really be cognizant of the fact that A, like I've been saying for a while, Pam Gregory speaks of this so eloquently, you're playing chess. You're not playing checkers. Like every day we're making decisions that lead us towards our timeline that we are choosing. It is not like eventually I'll get to this point and then the thing will just change. You have to change the paradigm or you have to choose the paradigm that you want to be in. It's good stuff, Aries. It's good stuff. What questions do you have for me? Please comment below. This is, it's, everything's connected. So if money's slow, if this is slow, if anything is slow, Check the company that you keep and be ready to either step up or just keep on walking. There is no judgment, but you get to decide right now, Aries. It's a pretty cool time for you. I'm excited. Ciao, ciao, darling. See you in a few weeks.